Okay. This is an individual five inch gun. This is a, a five inch rack. We have three racks together to make a cube. This is an aerial firework here, aerial five inch shell. This particular one is a five inch reddish gamboge to crackling. right here. This fuse is 40 feet a second and it goes down instantly from the signal to this powder filled lift charge. When this goes off it separates from the, the firework itself and the firework is now a ball shooting straight up in the air like a pop fly. Okay, at the point of the lift when this separates there's a slow fuse on the bottom of the uh, at the south pole of this ball is a slow fuse that burns to the center and ignites an explosion on the core of the ball. The ball is put together like a, like a globe with two hemispheres and uh, each hemisphere is filled with stars. Stars are similar to match heads but they have other chemicals to create different colors. For instance, uh, copper sulfate for green and uh, the shape of the uh, stars inside determines on determines how the uh, effect of the shell looks when it explodes. So basically, on a on a simple chrysanthemum, you have balls that are ignited like match heads, flying away from the center in in all directions. So now we have a chrysanthemum, and that is how a firework. And fires. Now I'm going to lower this back down into the gun here and make sure it's bottomed out so that we don't have a, a what's called a low blow. If this isn't sent, uh, bottomed out on the bottom of the gun, there's an air gap between the lift charge and the wooden plug at the bottom of this gun, and it does not get the proper lift and it begins to fall, and we have a low blow. That's what we call it.